Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,272. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic 1,271 to 1,272 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic 1,271, we had the same data set. And back in 1,271, we were extracting the 20 biggest calls. But in this video, we want to do something different. We want to, for Monday, get the biggest value from over here. Tuesday, get the biggest value from over here. Now we're going to see two different ways, and it depends on the criteria that you're using. If we're using text, M-O-N, text, T-U-E, that means somehow we have to match this text criteria against this serial number. If we're using the numbers 1 to 7 for our criteria, we have to match a number that represents Monday to Sunday against our serial number. Now, there is no equals max if function, so we can't do that because, in essence, we need the maximum value based on a condition, right? Now, in the old days, we could do something like this. We could say max, and then inside the max, we could put the if function and build our array formula, in essence, to match this criteria against the serial number and then pull out the maximum call value. But guess what? Since 2010, we don't have to use this construction. This construction would require Control-Shift-Enter. There's a great function called aggregate. Now, aggregate has 19 functions. 1 through 13 will not handle array operations, but 14 to 19 will. And look at that we can use the large function. Now, we'll come back to the aggregate in a second. I'm going to click Escape because I want to build the inside part of the formula and look at the essence of taking criteria text or a number that, in essence, is a criteria mismatch against a serial number and try and solve that first. Now, I'm going to start with the day, and I'm going to use the weekday function. Now, the weekday is awesome. It can take a serial number and convert it to a day of the week. Now, that argument right there, serial number, is expecting a single serial number. We're going to give it a whole column of values. So I'm going to click in the top cell, Control-Shift-Down arrow, F4 to lock it, because we're going to copy this formula down. Now, that's a function argument array operation, because it's expecting a single number. When we give it a bunch of numbers, that tells weekday function to spit out a bunch of answers. Now, comma return type. We want number 2, which means Monday is 1, Tuesday is 2, etc., all the way to Sunday is 7. So I'm going to select 2, close parentheses. Now let's hit F9 and see what this evaluates to, because in essence, it's going to convert all the serial numbers to weekday numbers. So F9, and there we go. We have an array of Mondays to Sundays, Control-Z. Now we can ask the question, are any of you equal to the relative cell reference? One for Monday, two for Tuesday, et cetera. If I hit the F9 key, now I have trues and falses. The true represent Monday. All the falses represent not Monday. Control-Z. Now we want to wrap this in parentheses. The false value will actually be our filter to filter out all the values we don't want. And then right before the parentheses, I'm going to highlight the entire calls column, which is numbers, Control-Shift-Down F4. And I'm going to use division. Now what this does is there's a bunch of trues and falses in the denominator and a bunch of numbers in the numerator. When we divide a number by a false, we get divide by zero error. When we take a number divided by true, we get the actual number. So watch this F9 to evaluate it. Boom, there it is. The divide by zero errors are our filter. We can see the actual call numbers. Each one of those numbers is for a Monday. Not only that, but if we could wrap the max function around this entire array, the max could just pick out the biggest value. Well, remember, we have divide by zero errors, Control Z. So instead of max, we use aggregate. And we use 14, that is large. And we're going to say, hey, give me the first largest, comma. And the second argument is awesome. There it is. That's what's going to save us from those divide by zero errors. Number six, ignore errors, comma. That whole thing is the array. Come to the end, comma. And the K, well, it's going to be hard coded one, because we're always trying to get the max. Close parentheses. And that's it. 
that formula right there, Control Enter, double click and send it down. That is amazing. I'm going to go to the last cell in F2 just to make sure I got all the cell references in the right place. Now I'm going to come up to the top F2 and copy this in edit mode, Control C, Escape, and then in the second biggest value column, Control V. And the only difference if our criteria is three three-letter abbreviations for text is that we're going to have to replace the weekday function and the equals E2 with the text function. Remember, we need something to translate serial numbers into the same type of criteria. So value is expecting a single number, and we're going to give it a whole bunch of numbers. Control, Shift, Down, Arrow, F4. So that makes this a function argument array operation. Text will spit out a bunch of answers. Comma, and here's the beauty of the text function. We can put whatever number formatting we want here. Well, we want three-day abbreviations in double quotes. D stands for day. If I put one, two, three Ds, that will say three-day abbreviation. And double quote. And it has to be in double quotes for this to work. Close parentheses on the text. Now, I want to highlight just the text right here and hit the F9 key. And sure enough, it has translated our serial numbers into criteria that we can match against our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Control Z. Now I simply say, are any of you in that array equal to relative cell reference? And that will do it. Control Enter, double click and send it down, and we get exactly the same numbers. Now, the difference between text and weekday, really, it's what criteria do you have? Sometimes you're required to have 1 to 7. Sometimes you're required to have this criteria here. If you can choose, I would probably choose weekday over the text function. Now, I didn't go out and create a big data set and time these like you really need to do when you're trying to compare formulas. But I did do a lot of testing of the text function in the book I wrote, Control-Shift-Enter. And the text function tended to be one of the slower functions. All right, so aggregate and text, aggregate and weekday to find the maximum value for each day of the week. All right, we'll see you next trip.